A self-serve tap room and tapas restaurant moving into the plaza in Columbia County, and the owner has a chance to get some grant money to help her put her new business in order. News Channel 6's Jenna Kelly live now tonight in Evans. And Jenna, this would be just the second business to locate in the plaza in the two years it's been opened. So, Jenny, what's interesting about the plaza is that Maybaum's office itself takes up most of its occupancy. So, besides your pie already being here, that's how they keep it afloat. But it's still a place that has available space, and this right here is going to be where the restaurant's at. It's what I'm really excited for. I spoke to the owner today, Renee Hijack, and she's a widow. She said she is going to be dedicating her entire restaurant to her late husband. Yeah, it's funny. I used to sit right across the, the way over there with my kids, play on the playground, and this idea was just kind of swirling in my head, trying to figure out how could I make it work. This building was under construction, and I used to just sit and dream like, oh, it would be so great to go over there. Renee Hajak is a widowed mother of three in pursuit of her dreams. She approached Columbia County leaders with her business plan. It's all self-guided. Um, you use an RFID bracelet to engage the taps and you can pour as little or as much as you want and you pay about an ounce. And once you hit 32 ounces, it cuts you off. She got the idea from traveling with her late husband. They had a similar taste for beer as they did for music. You know, the name is Stay, um, which is a Dave Matthews song. We were huge Dave Matthews fans, so. Columbia County Commissioners loved her business plan so much, they changed the alcohol ordinance to make self-serving drinks possible. Hey Jack already had a spot planned out, but remember, her dream was always the plaza. And they approached me about coming to the plaza, and I kind of laughed about it at first, but then when they started talking about the um, destination retail incentive plan, um, it was like, it, it absolutely was an answer to prayers. With the destination retail incentive policy, she will receive a grant. Hey Jack's application is under review. I think it was just a perfect fit because it's not just about the food and the drink and the togetherness. It's actually bringing together other local businesses. She hopes to incorporate local breweries, partner with vendors, and of course, play the Dave Matthews Band on the radio. I'm moving into life 2.0 after life 1.0, and I just, you know, he was my whole life 1.0, and so I don't want to forget any of that, so. Life 2.0 for her is looking pretty bright. There's at least two months until for construction until she can open, which she's hoping to open in mid-April. I'm reporting live in Columbia County. We're trying to beat this rain. George, what are we seeing for the rest of the day?